Let's move this flower to here. I need a little bit of green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can just live with. <laughs> I laugh about this because <laughs> things are gonna happen. But I'm my parking people's cars. Why are you parking people's cars? You just that you don't do story times. Why is that? Because my sister does them. No, I'm kidding. Because I don't. Um, I'm not kidding, my sister does do story times, but do I want a little demon running around, a little terrorist? Sure. I mean, I... Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video by me, Jessica Leo. As always, as always, thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. Happy 2023. I'm going to keep saying that until I get to February. So please leave me alone. Hey, please let me be. Okay, let me go. Let me be. Okay. I just wanted to welcome you guys to the channel. Welcome you to another video. This time around, I am going to be doing a Q&A because I felt like a Q&A would be a great way to start the year to people who do not know me as yet or any new subscribers, that kind of thing so that we could chat and you could get to know me a little bit more or get to know what's in my head currently at the moment about whatever it is that you may feel so I put it in my Instagram um, questions tab if you don't follow me on Instagram and you want to ask me questions Instagram is the best place to actually find out anything or actually contribute to any one of the videos whether it may be candid with cat roast the creators whatever it may be instagram is the best platform for you to find out that kind of stuff let's get into the video without dilly dallying because i did get quite a few of questions a few of questions okay the first question says <laughs> it makes me laugh but I hear the chat the first question says are you able to cover much of your expenses with your YouTube money and the answer is absolutely not um, I cover a lot of my expenses with campaign money or if I my salary or my salary um, YouTube money at this stage for me is just either saving money like it's money I can put away or it's money that I can chow honestly it's really not it doesn't even dent the things that I have to pay for so that's why every time I'm like guys please subscribe guys please like the video um, even if you can't join the membership space but please like the video because then it puts me up there in the algorithm and recommends me to other channels um, or to other people that may watch channels that are similar to mine so when I say that it really really helps bro like it really really helps um, just maybe it helps with the numbers also watch the ads like <laughs> So the money that helps me a lot is campaign money because yes, with campaigns, I get paid a lot more and also um, with my salary and my other um, extra forms of income, basically. So no, no, sweetie. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Do you see all the work I put in? <laughs> my sister, do you see all the work I put in? Doesn't dent, my darling, doesn't. Are you the marriage type now? You guys have seen my marriage video and you know how I feel about marriage to those who have been here long enough. But obviously this lady it might not know. For me, marriage doesn't change the price of bread. Basically, marriage is not for validating me in any way. Marriage is not for I don't I am not. I would like to say I'm not the marriage type. Like if it happens, it happens. I'm not against it, but at the same time, I'm not, oh my God, I need to get married. Oh my God, if I get married and if I have children, I feel like I'll have achieved something in life. I'm not that type of person. So I, I really don't see it in that way. More than anything, I just feel like finding love and finding someone you want to be with is fine. Like I'm that person who can just live with, <laughs> I laugh about this because 
<laughs> things are gonna happen but i'm that person who just wants to live with my partner i'm fine like once we get to the point where we live together i'm fine if we get married great if we don't get married great like I, I, one of the biggest things i said to my partner a while ago was that if we do get married i don't want to change my surname and he was like where sorry so now I must do all these things, for you to keep your surname. Uh, please relax, my sister, please. So those are kind of the things that for me should show you that, nah, I'm not, if it's there, it's there, my darling. If it's not there, it's not there. And that, that it's fine. That it's okay as well. It, it, it's okay. I don't like, I feel like let's move this flower. I feel like let's move this flower to here. I need a little bit of green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Next, when was the last time you were so happy that your heart warmed? Last weekend. You said the last time, so last weekend. Last weekend, I was of course with Mr. Diesel, my lover. <laughs> I was with Mr. Diesel last weekend. And I had gone to his place really just not feeling the best. I was in a, in a bad mental space. I was just not happy. There was just a bunch of things going on behind the screens. And um, man, he made that weekend so magical for me because I really didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to be in the, I didn't want to be on the streets. I didn't want to. I didn't want to do anything and he just took care of me, you know, like there's certain things that I needed and he bought them for me and he took me to a bookshop and the miraculous thing about this is I didn't buy anything at the bookshop. I didn't find anything. He took me to a bookshop and he said, take whatever you want. And I was just like, no, I can't find anything. Um, but then, you know, it was that kind of thing. And he took me to our, one of our favorite places to go and eat and spend a Saturday afternoon. Um, a bunch of people actually saw me there. <laughs> a bunch of people saw me there, but they didn't come up to me, but they were heavy in my DMs. Like I saw you, da -da -da, with Mr. Diesel. Um, so last weekend was just magical. And not only that, we came home and, uh, we sat outside and we just had a chat about life, about our goals, about what we want to achieve as a couple together this year. And it was nice. It was so fulfilling for me. I really, really did love last weekend. I loved it. It warmed my heart. Uh, what are you studying? To those who do not know, I am studying life coaching. I will be done in the next two months. So... <laughs> Good sis is going to be coaching you guys. So if, if you really want my services, okay to get your life in order for your personal development we'll talk about it we'll talk about it uh, what would you tell katleo 10 years ago about her life now it gets better sis like your life it's going to be great it's going to there's going to be a lot of lows you're going to get your heart broken so much um, you're gonna have a lot of challenges, but it all works out in the end. Like you find a sense of peace, you know, you're gonna reach a mental place in your life where you're gonna have to do a lot of healing and growth, but you find a sense of peace and, ah, ah, you know, you find love, you find peace, you find just, yeah, I want, yeah, I want, yes. Yes, that is what I would tell that little baby girl. They say that firstborns are deputy parents. Would you say that also applied to you and you felt it? Absolutely. After I lost my mom, after Naledi and I lost our mom, um, I immediately went into deputy parent role. I mean, I'm not gonna take it away from my dad. My dad is an excellent parent. He's so good, he's firm, he's strict, but He's so good and he loves, okay? He loves and he loves hard and he loves his kids. But I had to, I felt like Naledi needed me. And I felt like Naledi needed me in all aspects, you know? Um, she was still in school. So after school, she needed me financially. She needed me as a sibling, but also at the same time, she needed me as a mom. You know what I'm saying? Even though we would have fights that would get really bad, um, but... I knew that I need to be there for her. I just need to do this for my sister. And uh, that's when I felt like I was a deputy parent. And at most, that's when I felt like I was a deputy parent. And then 
there'd be those random things like when your younger siblings want money from you or when your younger siblings want you to protect them from your parents or when your younger siblings want you to whatever whatever it may be i had to do that for my siblings a lot of the time like uh refilo my younger brother the other day called me and he's like i need to go get a tattoo i know you get a tattoo da 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 please can we whatever can you take me and i was just like ah oh, i'm caught between being a parent and a sibling but i went sibling route and we both got tattoos that day but you know yeah mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you feel it you feel it a lot and i think you feel it when you have to when things are going tough and bad and it's tough going and you have to come through for your sibling um that's when you feel it the most and uh you just step into it i feel like for me it was stepping into something that was made for me like i don't mind i love my siblings i collect hanya from school if they need me to i take her out to lunch i buy her stuff um yes i also get mad as a sibling i also get mad um i also reprimand but that's where you know you got to weigh it you got to you got to play with it as a sibling and as a deputy parent so it happens quite a lot quite a lot your 2022 favorites could you maybe do a separate video maybe i did do it it's just on the membership space so my members know they've seen the video they know what i liked in 2022 so if you don't if you want to check it out become a member there's a lot of stuff in the membership space that you guys are going to ask i can't <laughs> um how was the first kiss of the year oh wow ona lona ne ke sele o baby sand baby sand yes actually Nike sayile happy is lona bona. Let's be here since the 31st of December. I guess so soon. But um lona, um I just came in to report to Dumela anke Sunday ne. I hope le right, I hope le sharp. I just came in to report the gore. Get out the keys. Keys. Get out. But <laughs> the first kiss of the year if you don't follow me on Instagram or maybe you don't have Instagram I went on to Instagram and I had a rant because I had a herpes on my lip and I was with my partner when I spoke about it on the gram and I was like yeah I believe I haven't been kissed for the year my first kiss of the year was actually last week as I record this and it was great it was very great <laughs> was just more than a kid and uh <clears throat> you mentioned that you are studying how's juggling work school and life in jay i feel like i'm struggling i think she means to say it's hard it's not the easiest thing in the world and if you are struggling i go through moments like that as well where i'm just like i need a break i need a break but for me it's always time management and planning that's why my planners come in handy that's why i pre-record that's why i make time for family and friends that's why i i go to work and i i i do everything ahead of time um so it's always it always boils down to time management for me but at the same time i always make time for myself and my mental health as well. So, yeah, like today I'll be recording three videos today because I know that next week I need to be focused on schoolwork. So I won't have time to record next week. So it's that kind of thing. Just time managing and planning. And if you need my services for that, I'm going to be a life coach in 2 weeks. In 2 months. <laughs> How are you? This is a great question and I know a lot of YouTubers say that this is a great question. It is a great question and thank you for asking how I am. Currently at the moment, physically, I'm not well. I have recovered from the flu, but physically, I'm not well. I just came back from the doctor actually as I record this. I got back from the doctor about an hour ago. and I'm on antibiotics. And yeah, I'm just really not feeling the best. If you've been following my channel for a long time, you'll probably guess what might be the problem. Uh if not, you'll probably hear more about it in my vlog that's coming. So, but I'm not feeling the best, but aside from that, I'm quite calm. Um 
I wouldn't say content, but I'm quite calm and relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm okay. I'm okay. Mention th three things that you are proud of in your life. Um, proud of my resilience. Okay. Guys, I've gone through a lot. I just don't talk about the things that I go through unless it's my mental health journey. I've gone through a lot with my family. I've gone through a lot with losing my mom. I've gone through a lot with having suffered one of probably the worst heartbreak of my life. I've gone through a lot having days where I was broke. <laughs> hey, Linda! <laughs> I still have those days from time to time, but not so much anymore. But, ew. But one of the things that I'm really proud of um, in my life is my resilience to just keep going, to just, even though things are not easy at the time and I could just throw in the towel, just keep going. Like for me, it's, I'm really proud of myself that I keep doing that, even in times where it's just tough and it's just really, really hard. You see, I'm gonna cry now. <laughs> Second thing, is how I've just been able to, to love on my family. And I'm speaking about my family just generally, my family, not my friends, not my partners, nothing. Just love on my family despite everything we've all gone through. Um, very, very proud of that and how I've kept them close to me and we've kept each other close. My family is everything to me absolutely everything to me like you, you can't touch this thing i will fight for my family um so there's that as well and then the last thing you know anything that comes top of mind is my mental health and having gone through that man i could write a book <laughs> about some of the things that i've been through um you know just all the the things that have set in my head and broken my heart and whoo and put me in really deep dark spaces but also you know with the high functioning looking like i'm perfectly fine when i was completely falling apart <laughs> yeah so the growth um and the healing that came with the mental health the breakdown and all of that is just I'm really proud of that if you weren't a content creator and working in construction what career path would you have chosen psychology psychology because I did study psychology for one year in varsity I did it as an elective even um, but psychology or any form of coaching right coaching at, at my time when I was in varsity it wasn't a thing it wasn't something that you know but I, I know that if I was a psychologist, I could still do it. Me, me and books, me and books get along. I really don't mind books. I could still do it, but um, I think I opted to rather take the coaching route um, because I, I love speaking to people. I love, you know, finding new ways to be better versions of ourselves through communicating and teaching each other new things and uh, helping someone find their way, not necessarily by telling them what to do, but by showing them what steps could work and then having them work their way, their journey through that and come out better on the other side. Oh, that is why life coaching. And um, another thing, being a teacher. Oh my God. I feel like... I would have loved to be a primary school teacher, not a high school teacher. My heart can't handle it. My mental health cannot handle it. I would never, I would never survive. However, primary school, the little grade oneies and twosies and threesies, oh man, I'd love that. I'd love that. When they call it a vlog, okay. Okay, when they call it a vlog, but we all, all we get are diary sessions. Rather just call it a sit down, rather. Okay. 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 Keeps you um, motivated at all times. I seem to be struggling with clinical depression. Being around safe spaces, being around love, um, taking my meds. 
<laughs> taking my meds. I went a week without taking my meds and I had a complete meltdown. My sister knows, my partner knows, I had a complete meltdown. Complete. Of course it was spurred on by what was happening in my life at the time. However, I had a complete meltdown. Oh, oh. Um, but what keeps me motivated is just being around my family, being around my friends, safe spaces, um, connecting with my faith, praying, taking my medication, doing things that I love to do, like solo lunch dates, or I still have to get into doing solo dinner dates, but solo lunch dates, that kind of thing, just doing that motivates me to just keep going and being in a um, um, stronger place. So because you are saying you're struggling with clinical depression, I would assume that you are on meds and you've seen a doctor who has diagnosed you, take your meds. If there's one thing I can tell you right now, take your meds, please take your meds. What advice would you give to the 19 year old you? I think I've done a video like this on my channel before, but however, the one solid thing that I would say is it'll be okay. It may seem like a lot right now, but it'll be okay. Things will calm down. Take it one day at a time. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. Um, how to deal with overbearing seniors at work as an intern? Why am I parking people's cars? Why are you parking people's cars? Even as an intern, why? And then what, what happens if you crash the car? What happens if you dent the car? Are they going to blame you as the intern? Don't do that. I think um, the best thing here would be to speak to your superior. Not the other seniors, your superior, your boss. Speak to your boss, and if your boss ain't gonna do anything about it, HR is the way to go. Because as much as you're an intern, you do not deserve to be treated that way. You really don't. So, there you go, okay? You have rights, even as an intern in a company, you have rights, there you go. Nothing to ask, just love you, cat. Cat is sweating, my darling, cat is sweating like a Popeye, okay? Two seconds. What are the challenges you face in dating as a person who is spiritually gifted? Um, everything. So here, here's the thing. You can, energies, right? There's something about when I come across people's energies that I don't gel with. Now I don't know why I gel, why I don't gel, okay? The, the underground gang knows that. So I don't know why I don't gel, but the underground gang knows that, right? So it's always things like energies that I will pick up instantly about people where I'm just like, I don't want to be around this person. I don't know why I don't want to be around this person, but something in me just goes off. So it's really hard, but at the same time, it makes things really easy. And then when you are in something serious, this is obviously something you need to disclose because for me, I get very vivid dreams. Um, sometimes certain things happen in my dreams and my partner knows this and um, I've told him what to do. I've told him what to do should anything happen to me in the dream or whatever. So it's things that you need to disclose, but while you're, in, while you're dating, you don't need to disclose that. I think it's something that you disclose when it's as serious. When it's a serious, you disclose it. Yeah, you, you have to, you have to. What are your goals before your birthday this year? Great question. Um, becoming a life coach, setting up my life coaching business and consulting almost instantly. Quite happy to do that before June. June is my birthday month. And what else do I wanna do before then? I want to secure campaigns. I wanna secure bags, okay? I wanna secure bags and bags and bags. So putting myself out there, really, really important to me um, so that I can get more work in because if I'm to continue this here career, uh, this here path, right? The social media content creation path, I need to start getting campaigns. It's just, I need to see a reward in, an, in, in a, 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 what is it? A return on investment. Because honestly, it's gonna be too much time for me to be a life coach and then um, work as well at the same time and then still maintain this. When I don't see the return on investment, something's gonna have to go. And I hate that I've just said that, but it's true. It's true. So I'm really hoping that before June, 
I can have something that pushes me to keep going even when things are still quite tough for me right now in this here space out of all the spaces in my life my job is fine my job is great i'm grateful there's other streams of income i'm pretty sure the life coaching business is going to go great my whole thing is this and i'm at this point where i'm like do i do i just let it go you know it's it's a conversation for another day um hey beautiful lady hey gorgeous gal gorgeous gorgeous gal um, how are you doing this year mentally and emotionally? I'm doing... Mentally, the start of the year was, was not good. <laughs> not gonna lie. It wasn't good. Um, but I'm, I'm working my way up. Emotionally, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty okay right now. I think that's, that's all I can say or probably all I can share without going into too much detail. But starting the year was really heavy on me mentally. Uh, the introvert in me was very nervous. I was very shaky. Um, but then once I started planning things and once I started doing things, you know what I'm saying? Then I, this, things started coming right. Um, what type of girlfriend are you? How are you doing romantically? What have you learned? I am, uh, Lina. None no one can tell me otherwise. I am a romantic of note. I'm a very, very romantic girl, okay? I love love. Love loves me currently. Love is loving me currently. So emotionally right now, romantically, I'm so happy. And I'm with someone who listens to the things that I like. You know, the only thing we're disagreeing a little bit on right now is Valentine's Day because he knows that I celebrate it. He's not crazy about it, but he's just like, okay, we'll do something. We just, we just won't do it on the day or we won't do it um, um, out and about or whatever, a cook for you or whatever. So for me, I don't like being out on Valentine's Day, especially eating out because it's full of couples and I get weirded out by things like that. It's just weird. It's just doing too much. Um, but what I have learned is Communication is everything in a relationship. Communication will save a relationship or it will drown it. Lack of it will drown it. Um, so for me, that's what I have learned that just talking to someone. And another thing that I've also learned is come correct. When you're talking to someone who loves you and you love them, this, once again, why not? I was quickly, quickly suppressed by Mr. Diesel. Like, firstly, I, I get you mad. Mm -hmm. I get it, but you're not going to talk to me like that. Have I ever spoken to you like that? I'm just like, I mean, no, I guess. I'm sorry. Oh my God, that's so sexy, but I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, so it's that kind of thing. Communication, great. Um, come correct when you're speaking to your partner. Do things intentionally. Um, oh man, I've learned so much. Um, learn your partner, learn them, you know, learn how they are when they're mad. Do they need space? Do they need you to come in and actually communicate with them? Um, learn how they are when they are stressed out at work. Um, because mine definitely gets stressed out quite a lot at work. Learn how they are and learn how to approach them. Learn how to approach the relationship in that time. Learn how they are with their family. Know what the story is with a family. Okay, um, also just, just those kinds of things, oh, I've just learned so much. Um, I, I think I can safely say I'm in a healthy relationship. At this point, I'm in a very healthy, communicative, um, intentional, all-rounder relationship and I'm really happy. And also, your partner must treat you well, okay? You must be a spoiled girl. Okay, you must be, and spoiled doesn't mean be given copious amounts of money or whatever, but if they want to give you some money, they can give you some money, but they must just treat you well, speak to you well, look after you mentally, physically, emotionally, physically, you know, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm sorry, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Notice uh, that you don't do story times. Why is that? Because my sister does them? No, I'm kidding. Because I don't, um, I'm not kidding, my sister does do story times, but um, because I don't talk about my life like that, there are certain things that I will share and then there's certain things that I just won't um, and, and that's fine. I think miniature story times 
and miniature parts of my life where you will see me being funny and talking about what's going on in my life is on TikTok and on Instagram because I do that a lot now. Now I just go in and I'm just like, my man, this, 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 this. So you should follow me on my social media platforms. I've got a tissue in my hand. Don't even mind me. You should follow me on my social media platforms because that's where I, I'll do story times. Mm. Any tips for a new reader? Just start and start with a short book. Start with a short book. Something you like, something you find that, oh, okay, I could like this. Make it short and just start. That's all. That's all. Wedding bells. So one, one, one. morning. Lekalat. Wedding bells. I don't think so. <laughs> and the reason will be clearly communicated maybe later on in the year. But not right now. Not right now, and, and that's fine because there's a lot of plans in the works. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go my way. I'm not gonna go, oh, we're gonna get married way. We might, but not just yet, but we're doing our own thing. It'll be communicated later on in the year, I think so. The last question will be, have you changed your mind about having children? Please don't be offended. I am not offended. Thank you for asking me that question. I, I've never had an issue with having children. I, I've, I've just been the way I felt about ha being married. I've never had an issue with having children. I, it's just something that I knew that I would never rush into. I felt like I would be a mom much later on in my life. And hello, I'm 35. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I've never really had an issue with having kids. Um, do I want a little demon running around, a little terrorist? Sure, I mean, I guess. Uh, maybe at a later stage, uh, no, not at a later stage, just one. I think uh, one of the conversations we've had with Diesel is that one. He started out with two, three, and I was like, bruh, are you aware with 35? Chillax, eh? Chillax, we're the same age, him and I. And uh, I was just like, nah, buddy, nah, buddy, nah, buddy, buddy, uh, one and we've both kind of settled on one. So yeah, I'm with someone who wants to have a kid and I'm with someone who I feel would be a great dad, a great father because of how he is with my sister and because how, he, my little sister, and because of how he is with children. Children just like that guy. It's disgusting if you ask me. No, I'm kidding. Children just like that guy. And um, it's just how he is with me, I can already imagine how he'll be with a kid. I know, Hore. I always say to him, Hore, I'm probably going to go first. I'm so unhealthy. I'm so this, this. I'm so whatever. Um, so take care of the kid, okay? And he's like, say less. <laughs> anyway, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for choosing me over and over and over, over, over again. And uh, I'm going to film something else now. So thank you very much for being here following the channel, choosing me over and over again. And if you like the video, please like it. Also subscribe, follow me on all my social media spaces. Um, that's where you're going to get to see the story times and my real life, my real life outside of the stuff. Um, what, I, what goes through my head. People have actually noticed that I'm quite funny. So <laughs> suck that now, lady. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys have a great one, morning, noon, or night, wherever you are, and at whatever time you're reading this, watching this, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!